What's up everyone? It's your girl Shay here. I'm back with another video for you guys and this time I'm actually going to be, be discussing this Cowboy Bebop live action that is coming out on Netflix. Now I know originally there was a lot of talks before and it's for years about there actually being a live action of Cowboy Bebop coming out. I know there were talks of it being a movie and I know there were there that there were huge talks of Keanu Reeves actually playing the part of Spike Siegel but Alas, that has actually never came forward, but now we actually have gotten confirmation that a live action is coming out from Netflix. So I'm actually going to be talking about first who's casted so far in this live action. So we have John Cho, who is actually going to be playing the main character, Spike Siegel, and he is actually uh, known for, at least John Cho is most known for being in Star Trek and also being in Harold and Kumar, and a lot of people are actually pretty excited to have him playing this character. Jet is being played by Mustafa Shakir. We also have Faye Valentine being played by Daniela Pineda. And we have Vicious, who is the main villain, being played by Alex Hassel. Hassel. And also, though, at this time, there is no one actually playing Edward Wong, Ed, in the series. Uh, that casting has not happened yet at the time of me recording this video. If there is later on, I'll probably add something in. But as of right now, from the research I did yesterday, no one has been casted into that role. Now, the live action also is going to be overseen by both Netflix and Tomorrow Studios. And actually, another great thing that I actually realized that makes me think that this live action might actually be pretty good is that it actually has the original series creator, Shinitrio Watanabe. And he's actually going to be serving as a consultant on this series. So I'm actually really, really excited for that because I feel like when you have the original creator involved, if there's any decisions that are made, then you know that they are actually at the approval of the original creator. So we can't say that they actually never actually consulted this individual. Also, from what else we know about this is that the adaptation is actually going to be a series. It's not going to be a movie. So that actually is, to me, very, very different because we don't have very many, like, animes made into like live action series unless they're done in Japan. As far as here in the States, mostly they're just done into movies. And to have this done into a series makes me actually pretty excited because that means that they probably won't cut out a lot of things because with the movie you only have like an hour and a half to two hours sometimes to actually tell an entire story. And with it actually being a series, you have a lot more time to put in those little details that other people may not understand. So this may actually do it justice. And also also at this time they've also only ordered about 10 episodes so we don't know what's going to be covered within those 10 episodes or is it going to go a lot quicker than the original I think 24 or 26 episodes that Cowboy Bebop is at least the animated version is or if they're going to make it draw out a lot longer because they're going to try and like fit in as much information as possible so that's actually kind of you know interesting to find out and actually makes me very very excited. I know that at one point there was a lot of drama that went on regarding this casting and the only drama was because of the data dog Ein or Ein. I apologize if I'm saying the name wrong. That's mostly because I have not actually seen Cowboy Bebop just yet. I plan to watch it soon but as of right now I have not seen it. And I do know that the data dog Ein is actually like a very detrimental part to the series as far as I know. I think he's like comic relief. And basically the dog in the anime is a corgi but apparently what I've been hearing is that the dog they casted is actually a husky I don't care because it's a dog and I feel like at least they cast a dog and didn't cast like some other animals for this entire role and we don't know what might have gone on during that casting like if the corgi if they had a corgi come into audition just wasn't acting right but the husky was so who knows the husky may actually do the part justice I honestly don't care but also it is I don't know if it's real or not because I only actually found one blog actually talking about this and when I searched just throughout the internet to find my information about the casting, especially for the dog, there wasn't anything being said. Everything was mostly said about who was playing the human roles within the series so far, but nothing about the dog. So that's something we probably have to wait a little bit more as far as like more information is concerned because I don't know if it's entirely true or not. 
but overall i'm actually very very excited for this live action i can't wait to see what they're going to do with this i can't wait to see if everyone plays their roles correctly and it also makes me excited to watch the original like cowboy bebop to watch it so that i can follow along with the live action and as far as the casting is concerned I think it's good. I don't have any complaints. I'm actually very glad that John uh, Cho is actually going to be playing uh, Spike Siegel. And I actually uh, read that Steve Bloom actually tweeted out his actual, like, not congratulations, but that he kind of stands behind the casting of Spike Siegel himself. And to me, I'm like, if you have the original voice actor coming forward and saying they're okay with it, then uh, to me, that's, that's all she wrote. That's it. Time to go to bed. Um, but yeah, that's what I think about this live action so far. I'll probably do another video maybe later on once we get more updated information. Just because the, the series actually doesn't come out until sometime next year. So there's a lot of time and a lot more information that may be released. Um, but let me know what you guys think about this live action so far with the information that's actually came out. Um, are you excited for it? Are you kind of like on the like on the fence about it just because of the history that live actions have especially live action animes have for actually being really good um but comment down below let me know about that and also of course i will leave links in my uh in my description box for all my social media accounts my instagram my twitter and my blog as well so check those out as well if you want to talk to me or anything and see what else goes on in my uh everyday life and also of course give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already i come out with new videos every monday wednesday and saturday so check them out too and i also will leave uh in the end credits or the end credits the end screen i guess uh basically a playlist so that you can watch all my other anime discussions but yeah that's why i want to know i hope you guys have a great day and like i always tell you guys stay positive and stay nerdy all right you guys